All right, we're back with the hand shovel. We're going to keep digging up our culvert pipe and eventually move on to reset it with an anti seep color. So sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, I got the pipe pretty much completely dug out. Uh, again, there's my hole where we had the evidence of washout last year. You can see daylight through there. Interestingly though, when I dug along the pipe, uh, there was no evident signs. There was no trench going through there or anything. So what that tells me is just the you get more movement in the soil than you probably really realize, especially in the northern hemisphere, the northern states. I'm in Minnesota, and this washed out, I think it was in November last year, it was either that or late October, when we started getting the freeze-thaw freeze cycle. It drops below freezing at night and thaws out during the day, and that's exactly when this thing washed out. And I'm sure is, you know, the principal reason why you have to put... Uh, anti seep collars in. So what I'm debating on right now, I need to get some bags of concrete. I've worked with a guy from the US Fish and Wildlife Service on installing these up north and he always uses, I think eight bags of concrete whenever he puts these things in. Uh, that might be you know, though on both sides when you're using an inline structure. I could probably get by with less here, but, uh, but I'll probably go all out just so I don't have to redo this. I nicked the, the pipe with the tractor. There's a little hole there. And then all the way down at the end, I put a much bigger dent in right here. But down here probably really doesn't make any damn difference. I'm just debating whether I should replace the whole pipe. Uh, it's gonna be heavy to get out of here because it's all packed with clay and there's probably some water in it even. Uh, so that's where I'm at. I got to make a run up to the store and uh, decide whether I'm going to get this, get a new pipe or not. All right, guys, here's the lay of the land. I decided I'm going to reuse my pipe. Uh, it's in, it's, it's fine. I'm going to throw a little sealant on the one hole I nicked into it. But we're going to be putting anti seep collars in. Here is one of those. It's basically just a piece of rubber in a wooden frame. Now you have to pre-cut your hole. I cut mine towards the the high side uh, just because of how it's going to lay in there. I, you just kind of had to eye it up and cut it as needed. Um, I was going to put two in. I probably still will, but this one failed on me. It tore when I was cutting the cutting the hole, so that's the way it goes. You can see how low this area is. Uh, just digging down a little bit for to make room for those. And I seep collars. I'm already at the water line uh, for our pond, which is behind us. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to throw the anti seep collars on, and then I'm going to throw a bunch of concrete around this thing to really firm it up and lock it in place and keep her sealed up so we don't have issues like we did last year. Things worthless.
All right, guys. So we got the pipe. It's kind of tough to get a wrestle with it to get it to bottom out uh, in the structure. And there's the anti-seep collar. As you can see, it's hugging the pipe. So what I'm going to do, I dug a little, kind of a little trench. You can see where the water is. That's actually the water line of the pond even. Maybe I already mentioned that, but you can see how low it is. So I'm going to pour a bunch of concrete in here uh, just to really try to get this thing solid and leak free. So let's do it.